more life is coming soon and more tune for your head top. So watch how you speak on my name, you know? Hey, how's it going? I'm Kevin Kenny, and welcome to the Billboard News Weekly Wrap-Up. Each and every Friday, we're going to be bringing you the biggest headlines in music over the past week that we're breaking down over on the Billboard News channel. And this week, it's all about three of our favorite hip-hop stars, Nicki, Kendrick, and Drake. Now we've got to start up in Toronto, or should I say Europe, that is where Drizzy spent his record-breaking week, partying with the likes of Cardinal Fischel, his mom, and Sade, and things must have gone pretty well as he got a tattoo of Sade on his ribs. In between tour stops of his Boy Meets World shows, Drake managed to shatter single-day streaming records with his More Life playlist, and we spoke all about it back on Tuesday. The playlist collected a whopping 89.9 million streams globally in the album's first 24 hours of release on Apple Music, not to mention an additional 61.3 million streams in its first full day of release on Spotify, both single-day records for each respective streaming service. Now, speaking of records and Young Money alumni, Drake's close personal friend Nicki Minaj set new highs as well this week, passing Aretha Franklin for most entries on the Billboard Hot 100 of all time for female artists, and my close personal friend Chelsea Briggs covered all the details this past Monday. Minaj now has 76, three better than Franklin's 73, as she debuts three songs on the Hot 100, led by her Remy Ma diss track, No Frauds, with Drake and Lil Wayne at number 14. Regrets in Your Tears starts at number 61, and Changed It, featuring Lil Wayne, arrives at number 71. And you seem to be all about it as well, with viewer Marcos commenting Queen Nikki and Bad Girl 970 telling all barbs to stand up, and then listed all of her favorite Nikki hashtags. Nikki also somehow managed to drop yet another new song as well well this week, this time with her mentor Lil Wayne and David Guetta, entitled Light Up My Body, take a listen. While Nicki and Drake continue to put up crazy numbers, it was Kendrick Lamar who was sending fans into a frenzy after totally revamping his Instagram page. Kendrick's Instagram has the world talking about a different album altogether. This right here is the only thing posted right now on Kendrick's IG, as the Compton rapper wiped his account clean today, leaving only the Roman numeral 4, which has some fans wondering if this is a tease for a new Kendrick album. Now, while we pondered when Kendrick's album would drop on Thursday's show, what we did not know at the time was the Compton rapper was prepping to drop new music that night. Lamar released The Heartbeat Part 4, the fourth installment in the MC's The Heart series, arriving as an exclusive with Apple Music. And again, you seem pretty amped about it across social media, especially on Facebook where Muhammad wrote Drake Who, and Joshua quoted some of the more aggressive lyrics from the new track, typing, my next album, the whole industry on ice packs. Now we're gonna have to wait and see if that happens whenever Kendrick decides to release this next record, but what we do not have to wait for is starting this conversation about the week in music. What are your thoughts on the stories we just discussed, and what was the biggest headline for you personally this past week? Let me know down in the comments, and before I go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here to make sure you do not miss another episode of Billboard News. Until next time, I'm Kevin Kenny.